one. Hello, Hi, everybody. Hello. Howdy. Hey, Emmy, what's going on? It's all good. All good. Uh, happy Glad day to today. Me. So looking forward to this, this discussion and our special guest. So stay tuned. There you go. Emmy, so fill us in. Who's the special guest that we have today? Right. So I'm very excited to introduce to you guys uh, Gordon, and he's from Landflow. Uh, and as you probably uh, know from our groups already, uh, we have prepared a very, very nice uh, way uh, for you to grow your business. And uh, this brings a lot of value for US and Canada uh, users. So if you are a merchant from the US or Canada, please. Uh, pay a, attention to this uh, webinar and ask your questions uh, because you uh, are you are now officially able to get uh, funding for your company from within the plug and paid interface. And um, we invited Gordon here to tell us more about what uh, is possible to do with this. So welcome, Gordon. Can you add it to the stream? Hello. Thank you for having me, Emmy. Hey. Nice so, to meet you, Gordon. Likewise. Uh, Gordon, uh, will you tell us a few words about uh, Landflow? So this partnership is between, between Plug and Paid and Landflow. Uh, so they facilitate this whole process so that we don't have to do the, all that uh, difficult work. So Gordon. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, Landflow is partnered with Plug and Paid uh, to give you as Plug and Paid users access to a wide range of capital solutions uh, to grow and manage your e-commerce business. Um, so just like Plug and Paid has given you all the different tools um, that you would need to, you know, to operate your e-commerce business, this is an additional tool and, you know, we provide access to capital, um, allowing you to grow your business. So it's a very simple process. Um, we'll share a link to the landing page uh, at some point and now that you can see it there. So just navigate to this page and click on the apply for funding now button. And that will give you a simple application for you to fill out, giving us a little bit of information on uh, your business and you as the owner of the business. And then you know, we, one of our funding advisors will reach out to you and discuss with you your uh, capital needs, determine exactly what you need uh, in terms of a capital structure, um, whether it's to you know, purchase inventory or run a larger ad campaign um, pay your employees, any type of, inf of, of capital needs you might have. And then we work with our network of about 50 different capital providers to find you uh, the perfect match for your business. And um, that facilitation can happen very quickly. Um, in as little as one to three business days, you could have the, the funds in your account and, uh, and ready to use. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty quick high level overview. And uh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure later we'll have some questions that we can answer. Yeah, thanks a lot for this uh, brief. Uh, I, I, personally, I find this really, really exciting. And this is one of the uh, new ways of doing things uh, these days, we're in 2020. So you don't have to go through a lengthy process and wait for months in order to get uh, funding that the funding that you badly need. So uh, this is a very fast way to do that. It's, uh, it has as li little friction as possible, and we have agents prepared for you uh, for to help for helping you, uh, you know, get this uh, this uh, funding uh, done. So uh, we're very excited. This is great. This is awesome. You can go to capital.plugandpay.com, or you can also go to your plug and pay dashboard and click settings in the sidebar. And if you are from the U.S. or Canada you will see there a link that allows you to apply. So, um, right, if any of you uh, viewers um, have any questions about this process, uh, please post them in the comments below. And uh, if you're watching this as a rewind, uh, either use the comments or use our support um, channel to ask us questions about this and we'll very happily answer. All right, while we... While we wait for people to pose their questions, if any, um, I recommend I, um, you know, give you guys a heads up on what's coming next and what we've been doing. I guess this was the question on your lips, Bruce, right? 
Well, I was actually, I had one for Gordon. I was like, what kind of companies can apply? Like who's eligible? Uh, yeah, great question. So uh, because we work with such a wide network of lenders, we can really cater to almost any size and type of company. Um, we have some, some low minimums in terms of revenue, uh, which is about $10,000 uh, a month. In you know, so monthly revenue, that's kind of the, the lower limit. Um, but other than that, uh, it's a, we're pretty open in terms of who will accept and uh, find capital for. Um, so, you know, we work with companies that are as small as that or companies doing, you know, millions of dollars in monthly revenue. So a pretty broad, broad spectrum there. Okay, right. cool. So, so definitely a lot of tech startups could apply as long as they meet that bare minimum. Uh, yeah, correct. Um, it's typically not um, the best use case for a tech startup. They're generally looking for, for equity financing. So just to clarify, this is uh, all debt financing that we do. Got it. Nope. Totally understood. Thank you for the clarification. Appreciate it. Yep. Nice. All right. Uh, in order to get the funds, uh, I suppose uh, the user has to uh, provide a business plan or a business case on uh, how they plan to spend that money and where it will go, and things like that, right? This will be part of the process afterwards. Uh, yeah, so a, a business case is, is not necessary. Um, so the, the use of funds is really up to the business. Uh, generally, you know, we're looking for something that's related to the growth of that business. Um, so you, like I mentioned earlier, it could be purchasing new inventory, running an ad campaign, um, hiring new employees, uh, launching into a new market, uh, anything like that. But a, a business case or business plan is not necessary to provide. Um, oh, so all we, all we, yeah, all we need is the, the you know, the business uh, information, the legal information, the owner's, uh, you know, name and birth date, um, you know, when the business started. And then there's a step for them to either upload their bank statements for the last three months or to connect their bank account through our secure plaid link. And that allows us to kind of run a cash flow analysis of the business and uh, perform our, you know, the underwriting uh, process to determine the eligibility uh, around the amount that they would qualify for. Nice. So this is a, as automated as possible, right? It sounds yes, great. it's a, it's a very quick process. Once all we have all the information through that application and then you know, we, like I mentioned before as well, we do have a funding advisor that will contact you as the business to get a little bit of a better understanding of, you know, what you intend to use the funds for, make sure that we're providing you with the, the right structure of, of capital. You know, so we have some, some very basic products that are just simple term loans. Um, if you're a larger business, a little bit for later on in your developmental stage, we also have, you know, bank level products and then on top of that, we have you know invoice factoring where a business could set up a facility to factor specific invoices if they're working with uh, larger customers um, or open up uh, a line of credit, which is kind of a more flexible uh, way to access capital. So essentially giving you a large sum of money that you can access kind of like a credit card over time and only pay interest on the funds as you need them and then pay them back when you when you get paid. That's very nice. When are you coming to Europe? <laughs> <laughs> Great question. So we're actually working on it. So we, we have a couple lenders in Europe, but not quite ready yet to, to fully launch there. As many of you probably know, there are some difficulties around compliance and in the financial sector that uh, you know our legal team is looking at and trying to figure out exactly how we can make sure we stay compliant um, you know, within the European market. So it's a little bit difficult to navigate that, uh, th that, you know, environment, but uh, hopefully, you know, sometime in 2021, I think. Sounds great. As soon as you do that, we will unlock it for our European <laughs> users as well. So You'll be the first people to know when we are ready to launch there. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. All right. So George asked, what's the criteria for getting approved? I think Gordon kind of... Uh, answer this question, right? Is there anything else? 10,000 10, a month. Yeah, so, you know, there, obviously there, you know, everyone has a different credit score. Um, it falls in a different range. So there, there are some minimums around that. 
But again, because we work with such a broad range of, of lenders, we are almost always able to find uh, something for, for each individual, no matter what your credit score is. So even if you think it's very low, I would still recommend applying. Um, you know, that's something that we can determine very quickly. And if at this time we're not able to offer you uh, capital based off your credit score, then we have a lot of recommendations we can make about how to improve that credit score and what you need to do as a business to improve your business credit score and become eligible for financing. So, you know, if you have been turned down by your bank or have been turned down by other lenders, I would still recommend applying and we're able to, uh, you know, to figure something out for you. Awesome. Awesome. That's really great. I love, I love it when companies take this extra mile to help out uh, users uh, when they can and how they can with their expertise. And we're very happy to have partnered with you guys uh, since you are experts in this field. And that's always uh, the best way to work with experts. So thank you for allowing us to integrate your solution. Oh, it's a pleasure. Uh, Gio, did that answer your question? I'm, I'm assuming. Let's Hopefully assume it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, well, until there other is. questions arise, there okay. do we have any other questions regarding this? Um, who would be like, what's your typical or who would be like the ideal type of business? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming there's a usual type of, of customer that you're like, oh, hey, you know what, or, or type of client that it's like, you know, they're an automatic shoe in. For the people who are listening, there's got to be you know, like an ideal type of business that you guys look for. Uh, yeah. Um, so obviously we're looking for businesses that are, you know, doing well and growing. You know, that's going to be the best type of business to to lend money to uh, where there is a, you know, some sort of a cash flow uh, gap somewhere. That's usually when our solutions uh, make the most sense, right? If you know that you could, you know, sell to, you know, five times as many customers if you only had the money to purchase that inventory up front, right? Maybe you're coming up to a holiday season, you've built out a perfect ad campaign that you know is gonna, you know, double your revenue, but you just don't have the ability to, you know, to purchase that inventory to make it happen. Or if you just, you, you've built a perfect ad campaign, but you don't have the funds to run the ad campaign, and you've already done the analysis to know, hey, I'm pretty sure I get, you know, a 4X ROI uh, if I run this ad campaign, I'd like to put, you know, $20,000 behind it uh, leading up to the holiday, you know, buying season. Uh, that's a perfect use case. Um, you know, there, there are instances where, you know, a company is, you know, maybe struggling and they just need some capital to get by. You know, we can help with that too. Uh, but ideally, we're looking for businesses that are growing, have a great, you know, solid growth trajectory and just need that additional funding to accelerate that growth. Um, you know, and again, you know, that maybe your your customers are large and they they only pay you after, you know, 60 or 90 days. And so you're, you're waiting on those, those funds to come in and you just want to receive them quicker and are willing to pay, you know, a small fee to make that happen. So you can, you know, put that money back into your business and continue to grow. Um, I'm sure everyone knows that, you know, cash flow is the, the lifeblood of any, any business and it's, uh, you know, ability to grow. Um, so that's the kind of the, the uh, problem we're here to solve is anything related to, you know, slow cash flow. All right, all right. Perfect. Makes sense. Helps companies get over that hump during a specific quarter or dry season. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll put it out there for some people who might be interested in want to fill out the application. And what is like the range on uh, like percentage of interest or returns that they have to pay back for the loan? Uh, yeah. Again, so that's going to be very dependent on you know the the credit profile of that business. Right. Um, you know how much revenue they're doing. Um, so yeah, I think you know anywhere from you know ten to to twenty five percent annually, okay. uh, somewhere in there. Um, but yeah, you know, the, and then again for the different types of products, they're going to be different ranges as well. And you know whether it's going to be an unsecured, um, you know, product, or you know we also have the ability to um, use 
various types of assets as collateral, which is going to bring down the rates. If you happen to own real estate uh, or equipment of some kind, um, then we can use that and kind of bring down those rates as well. Makes total sense. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Cool. Cool. This is really this is really great. So um, again, guys, if you want to benefit from this, go to capital.plugandpaid.com and just click apply for funding and take it from there or go into your uh, plug and paid account and if you're from the us or canada then you will see under settings a link to apply for funding so you can go either there or there and continue this flow uh it's really fast easy to do uh just try it out if you need funding and you think it will help grow your business um, and especially if you're a growing business then uh, please apply and um, yeah, grow faster, right? This <laughs> so <laughs> exactly, basically. yeah, yeah. Um, all right, good. The, uh, this is not the the only thing that we're cooking, guys. This is uh, uh, the cherry on top, let's say. So after launching the affiliate uh, module, uh, which a lot of people have been waiting for, and we've got a lot of feedback from you guys already that we're working into a, in this beta phase. Uh, to make it uh, even better uh, we are preparing a version uh, 6.1 for hopefully next week let's see when it will be coming uh, and we're preparing uh, a, an update to our stripe integration we're now you will be using the latest apis and the latest library and um, the flow when you pay with ideal payments or these other european um, payment methods from stripe um, then instead of redirecting the customer to a new page, uh, it will happen everything inside the plug and pay checkout. You choose your bank from there and you do everything there inside. And so it's a much more pleasant user experience for uh, the customer. So try that out next week after 6.1 is launched. Uh, and together with that, we're bringing a Malaysian uh, gateway as well, I, if I remember correctly. Um, so, and we're also preparing a lot of minor improvements uh, that you, you guys sent over help desk. Um, so yeah, we're really excited about the upcoming 6.1. It's like, you know, when the iPhone comes out and then the, the iPhone, whatever the S at the end comes out, which is a perfection of the iPhone. So that's what 6.1 will be. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. And you're, you've already lined up multiple other features and improvements so for 6.2 and 6.3 after that, uh, roughly every two weeks. So we're trying to, to make that happen um, and, you know, continue on this path that we got uh, you used to, uh, where plug and paid is growing and growing into a better and better platform. So continue to do whatever you did so far, uh, which is great, which is sending us feedback on all of the channels that we have, help desk, uh, Facebook groups, you know, Facebook Messenger, uh, even myself, you can reply to my release emails, I don't mind. Um, and uh, yeah, help us be better. And we will together with you guys. Cool, cool. All right. I should probably uh, also mention that um, for anyone who didn't see the blog that was released last week regarding the 6.0 breakdown of affiliates, uh, that's up too. So you'll see all the massive uh, change lists. And I'll put those up in the groups too. So that way you guys can take a look. Sounds great. We have a question, of course, from Patrick. Every webinar is the standard question. <laughs> SSO in the redirect and the API for tokening. So <clears throat> what Patrick is uh, talking about is the um, a single sign-on integration for a SaaS provider. So if you're a SaaS and uh, you sell subscriptions and you use plug and pay to sell those subscriptions, uh, then uh, instead of sending a login link to the customer portal where you have to insert the email and the, and the code from the email. So the, the login process is lengthy. Um, this is a more seamless integration with your SaaS. So you'll be able to, um, I, I think it's scheduled for 6.2, I'm not sure, but soon, Patrick, soon. Um, you'll be able to um, integrate a piece of code into your SaaS or a link which will uh, automatically log in your uh, user into the subscription management portal uh, from plug and paid which is white label and branded with your domain so it, 
you may be able to make this seamless integration really nice. So this is coming in the upcoming versions. I'm not, I cannot give you an exact date right now, but uh, thanks for reminding me all the time, Patrick. But don't worry, we have we have it there, it's scheduled. Yeah, we, lo we love you too, Patrick. I was just Thank gonna you. say that, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> Patrick is always involved every week on our show, so I appreciate you tuning in also. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, that's um, all the updates that I have for now from my side. So, um, really happy about uh, the plug and paid capital uh, product that we launched today uh, again go to capital.plugandpay.com and see more details there thank you gordon for joining um, this was gr a great discussion and um, very valuable for people that watch the replays as well yeah thank you for having me we're definitely excited to you know help out as many of your plug and paid customers as we can uh, guys also inside settings in your main dashboard it's at the bottom you'll see where it says start funding uh you'll be able to find the shortcut there for uh the uh, direct connect over to lenflow or at capital.plugandpay.com as well yeah yep it's already live so go ahead and apply okay, and okay. Uh, on that note, we'll check in and see everybody next week, same time. Next week, same time. Cool. All right, All guys. Right. Be safe. Have a good one. Uh, thank you, Gordon, for joining us, too. Thanks again. Thanks, guys. It was a pleasure. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.